Hello everybody, this is Boaz Fader and I'm here with the Ge Daily Astrology Forecast for July 22nd, 2016. Hello Georgia, how are you? You want to come over? Or you want to stand there looking at me? You think you can make it jump? You're not sure? Well, you decide if you want to. Anyway, you know, these past few weeks have been emotionally straining. We feel like we're going from one thing to the next, from one thing to the next. We don't have any time to relax. And really, the emotional strain has been tremendous. We are lucky that during the weekends, we get pleasant aspects that can really recharge our batteries and give us emotional sustenance for the rest of the week. And so it is today. The moon is in Aquarius, it is void of course, but it still aspects, uh, it trines Vista, and that means that this is a great time. I mean, every time the moon is void, of course, it's just a, a minor energy, you know, it's like we need to, to play the minor chords and not the big ones. It's not the big orchestra playing, it's just the background music. And when the trine to Vista comes in, this is a time to be loyal to ourselves. It sort of continues the theme, the theme from yesterday about making sure that we give enough time and focus to the things that really fill us up in life, that really recharge our batteries, that really are important to us. Do that. Do that this morning. That's, that's going to be uh, uh, up to noon time, Central European time, early morning uh, in the States. And then the sun goes in to, uh, into Pisces, bringing this much more delicate energy that has nothing to do with the busy weekdays that we've been through. It's a much more artistic, spiritual energy that's not so much in touch with time and space. And it comes in with a trine to Juno and a sextile to Ceres. And this is really a blessed time to take the people that you care about, the people that are important to you, and to do some joint activity, whether it's a simple thing like eating something to the, together, drinking together, talking, going out to nature, feeling the breeze on your face or the water going uh, through your, uh, uh, putting your feet in the water, whatever it is reconnecting, reconnecting to tranquility, reconnecting to pleasantness, reconnecting to the enjoyment of the simplicity of life and really letting all this tension, this weekly tension, vent out. This is a day that we should treat as if all these connections, these relationships, these activities are emotional sustenance for us. They're food for our hearts and souls. If you are in the States or if you're very, uh, if you're early, if, if you're up very late in Europe from uh, around 1 a.m. Central European time, that's around 1900 hours Eastern Standard Time onwards, things become much more delicate and sensitive. The moon is conjunct Neptune, Neptune and, and that's a time that we are really very sensitive really very sensitive and we could be naive and, and we could draw in all kinds of experiences that are not necessarily of our own doing and it's square Saturn which means that we could be a little down a little depressed we can feel like we're not getting enough support and this is going to be there up to the next morning if you are in Central Europe but it's going to dissipate uh, early morning Central European time and it's going to be through night time through your night time in the States um, so if you are planning to go out and if you are doing something on this weekend night, be aware that this is a sensitive time. The sun is moving into Leo. Happy birthday, Leos. I love this time. Sun in Leo is in domicile. It's in its rightful place. And we are all, in a sense, commanded through these next few weeks to take a part in life, to squeeze the zest out of life, to not compromise about what we want to get out of life, to really enjoy it, to play with life. And what a beautiful time it is to do it, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, when it's summer. 
So, I hope you ho- you, everybody that is going to have a beautiful weekend, energetic weekend. Squeeze that zest out. Recharge your batteries. Get ready for the week ahead. Thank you for listening. This is Buzz Fighter. Goodbye.